नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं शिवानंद उपाध्याय आपका स्वागत करता हूं हमारे YouTube चैनल केमिस्ट्री एकेडमी फॉर आई टी जेई एंड नीट दिस इज अवर प्रॉब्लम सीरीज फॉर जेई एडवांस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द थ्योरी थ्रू प्रॉब्लम्स होप दिस विल बी यूजफुल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल बेंजीन बॉन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन एट 300 हंड्रेड कैलविन सो द रिएक्शन बैलेंस रिएक्शन इज गिवेन टू टाइम्स ऑफ बेंजीन मॉलिक्यूल इन लिक्विड स्टेट प्लस फिफ्टीन टाइम्स ऑफ ओ टू मॉलिक्यूल इन गैसियस स्टेट ऑन कंबर्शन इज फॉर्मिंग ट्वेल्व सी ओ टू मॉलिक्यूल इन गैसियस स्टेट एंड सिक्स एच टू मॉलिक्यूल इन लिक्विड स्टेट डेल्टा एच नॉट ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज माइनस सिक्स फाइव जीरो जीरो किलो कैलोरी वोट इज डेल्टा यू नॉट ऑफ द कंबर्शन of one mole of benzene uh, we can solve this question but while solving the question keep in mind that when we talk about heat of combustion when one mole of the substance uh, we can use that delta h not of the reaction is equal to delta u not of the reaction plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1 here there is no pressure and volume is given so i can assume that these gases are ideal gases when these gases are ideal then p2 v2 minus p1 v1 can be written as delta ng rt so this is not always valid this is only valid the gases participating will behave like ideal gas but there is no other way to solve this problem because no other data is available so for this if i am writing that what is uh, delta h not of the reaction so for this reaction delta h not is equal to 6500 i have to calculate what is delta u not of the reaction delta ng for this balanced reaction is equal to on the right hand side there are 12 gas molecules on the left hand side there are 15 gas molecules so delta ng is minus 3 so i can put here minus 3 r value in calorie will be 2 and temperature at which the reaction is taking place is 300 now on the left hand side this is in kilo calorie so i have to convert this value into kilo calorie so divide it by 1000 so on simplification on the left hand side we are getting 6500 on the right hand side i can write that this value is equal to delta u not and this value will be 6 into 318 uh, so 1.8 minus 1.8 so from here i will calculate what is the value of delta u not of the reaction which is equal to minus 6500 plus 1.8 so on simplification we are getting that this value is equal to 6498.2 6498.2 so this is delta u not for two moles of combustion of benzene right we have to calculate for one mole so most of the student will reach here and they will forget that we have to calculate for one mole so this reaction is not heat of combustion it is two times of heat of combustion so here if i have to write what is delta u not for one mole which will be the answer so we should divide it by 2 and here the sign is minus so if i divide this value is equal to minus 3249.1 so many of you will uh, give the answer c but c is not the correct answer answer will be d so be careful while reading the question simple question also you can do mistake question number 2 which of the following reaction is spontaneous only at relatively low temperature and the first reaction is nh4br in solid state plus 188 kJ so when we are adding heat on the reactant side means it is an endothermic process to form ammonia gas and br2 liquid the second reaction is nh3 in gaseous state plus hcl in gaseous state this is acid base reaction to form nh4cl solid and plus sign of energy on the right hand side means energy is liberated 176 kJ energy is liberated so this is exothermic and this is endothermic sometimes this can be written as minus 176 on the left hand side right the third reaction is two times of h2o2 in liquid state will form two times of h2o in liquid state plus 2o2 in gaseous state plus 196 kJ so this is also exothermic reaction right so we have to solve this so in order to solve it uh, we are going through the first option we can write that the first option is nh4br solid uh for this if i write that what is delta g delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s delta h for this reaction delta h is positive because it is an endothermic reaction there is addition of heat energy on the left hand side reactant side so it is endothermic reaction now 
delta ng for this is 1 so entropy change for this reaction is positive entropy change is positive and we know that in endothermic reactions are entropy driven reactions so this delta g will be negative at high temperature delta g will be negative at high temperature they are asking that which reaction is spontaneous at low temperature so moving to b option in B option, this is an exothermic process and I can write that delta G again is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Here, delta H is negative because it is an exothermic reaction, but delta NG is minus 2. So, entropy change is also negative. So, this whole term, second term will be positive. So, at low temperature, this second term will be less in amount. So, delta G will be negative. So, I can say that for this reaction, delta G is negative at low temperature. So, they are asking this, right? B should be the answer because this reaction is spontaneous at low temperature. Let us go through the C option. Uh, this is an exothermic reaction. Again, I can write that delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Delta H is negative but delta S of this reaction is positive, right? Because delta NG is plus two. So this is positive. It means that this whole thing is uh, negative at all temperatures. So we'll say that delta G is negative at all temperatures. So this reaction is spontaneous at all temperature. So according to the given question, B should be the answer. Question number three, a reaction at 300 Kelvin with delta G naught is equal to 1743 Joule per mole consists of three moles of A gas, six moles of B gas and three moles of C gas. If A, B and C are in equilibrium in one liter container, then the reaction may be. So ln2 value is 0 0.7 and R is equal to 8.3. 3 joule per kelvin per mole so we have to find this so in order to find that uh, delta g naught is negative it means that equilibrium constant is greater than one first we'll find out that what is the partial pressure of these these three gases right so these three gases are present in the same container so i can calculate that what is the partial pressure of gas a Partial pressure of gas A at equilibrium because these are the equilibrium number of moles. So I can write that that is equal to the number of moles of gas A. R, R they have given that is equal to 8.3. But uh, this we have to calculate in bar. If I want to calculate in bar, the value of R should be 0 0.083. It should not be 8.3. It is when we are using SI units. So this is 0 0.083 NRT. Temperature is 300 upon volume, volume of the container in which the reaction is taking place is 1 liter. So from there we'll get the pressure in bar which is equal to if I multiply this 100 here. So 8.3 into 9, 9 into 8.3 bar will be the pressure of gas A. Same way I can calculate what is the pressure of gas B. Gas B number of moles is 6 so I can directly say that uh, the pressure of gas B is 2 times the pressure of gas A. And same we can say that pressure of gas C is equal to pressure of gas A because the number of moles are equal. So 9 into 8.3 bar. So these are the pressure of gas A, B and C. From this, we can find out what is the equilibrium constant corresponding to uh, delta G naught of the reaction. First, we'll calculate what is the value of equilibrium constant also. We can calculate this value. So we can write that. Delta G naught of this reaction is equal to minus 1743 joule per mole. So that is equal to minus and they have given this value 2.303. I am not using because ln2 they have given. So I am avoiding 2.303 vector. So R, R in joule is 8.3 and temperature is uh, 300 Kelvin. RT ln equilibrium constant that equilibrium constant will be kp naught so from here if i simplify this value uh, i can write that this value is equal to ln kp naught is equal to 1743 and if i multiply this value this is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 and uh, this is 24 2490 so I think if I multiply this 249 by 7, 
it will be 1743 divided by 10. So this value will be 0.7. So from here, we got that the value of KP naught is 2. We have already concluded that delta G naught is negative means equilibrium constant should be greater than 1. So KP naught will be 2. Now we'll go through option by option. So searching for the first option, we can write that KP naught value is equal to partial pressure of C. So I am writing partial pressure of C upon partial pressure of A and partial pressure of B. Partial pressure of C and A are equal, so they will cancel out. This is equal to 1 upon partial pressure of B and partial pressure of B is 18 into 8.3. So this value is less uh, than 1. So A should not be the answer. Moving to the B option, B option we can say that KP naught is equal to partial pressure of B partial pressure of C whole square upon partial pressure of A. So on simplification, I can say that uh, this value is equal to partial pressure of B upon partial pressure of A is 2. And partial pressure of C, if I put here, that is equal to 9 into 8.3 whole square. So again, this is a big value. So this should not be, it is greater than 2. So that should not be the answer. Moving to the C option, we can write that AP naught is equal to partial pressure of B into partial pressure of C upon partial pressure of A into partial pressure of A. I can write like this. So pressure of C and pressure of A will cancel out and pressure of B is two times the pressure of A. So this is equal to two. So from there we get that C will be the answer. Same way I can prove that D is wrong. I can write that KP naught is equal to partial pressure of C whole square upon partial pressure of A into partial pressure of B. So from here, partial pressure of A and C will cancel out. This value is equal to 1 by 2. So answer of this question will be C. Question number 4. The work done in calories in adiabatic compression of 2 mole of ideal monoatomic gas against constant external pressure of 2 atm is starting initial pressure of 1 atm and initial temperature of 300 Kelvin. R value is given and we have to find out the work done in calorie. So this is a question in which uh, the gas is compressed, right? So it is compression against a constant pressure means it is irreversible. So it is adiabatic irreversible compression. So while solving the question of adiabatic, we be careful. We cannot use PV to the power gamma or TV gamma minus one constant. So while solving the work done, we should be very careful. We, we have to apply the first law of thermodynamics. Delta U is equal to Q plus W. Q will be zero. So I can write that. Delta U is equal to W and this W is irreversible. So ideal gas participating in any process, we can write that uh, change in internal energy is equal to NCV delta T. It is a monoatomic gas. The value of CV is equal to 3R by 2. And we have to calculate final temperature. Initial temperature is known that is equal to 300 Kelvin. On the right hand side, work done is minus times of P external. Ex external pressure is 2 atm. Min, P external V final minus V initial, we don't know initial and final volume. So we should write that volume is equal to NRT by P. So V final is NRT final upon P final minus NRT initial, T initial is 300 upon P initial, P initial is 1. So if nothing is mentioned about final pressure, it is also a common sense that final and external pressure will be equal when it is compressed and the final pressure of the gas will equal to the external pressure, then the piston will stop, right? So that is a common sense. So here N and R will cancel out. So if I do the calculation on the left-hand side, I can write that this is three by two times of final temperature minus 300 divided by two is 150, 150 into three is 450. So 450 on the right-hand side, I can write P final and P external will be same equal. So this is minus times of T final, that is T. And this minus minus will be plus and this is equal to 600. So now if I write that, what is the final temperature? If I take this T on the left hand side, I can write 5 by 2 times of capital T is equal to 450 plus 600 is equal to 1050. From here, I can calculate what is the final temperature that is equal to 1050 into 2 divided by 5. So on simplification, I can say that this value is equal to 210 into 2, which is equal to 420 Kelvin. Once I know the final temperature, 
Now I can write that what is the work done in irreversible, adiabatic irreversible, that is equal to internal energy change, which can be written as N into CV into delta T. The number of moles of the gas is 2. 2 moles of the ideal gas is given. The value of CV because it is monoatomic gas, so CV is 3R by 2. And temperature change is 420 minus 300, that is equal to 120. So if I simplify this 2 and 2 will cancel out. Calorie. In calorie, the value of R is equal to 2. So 6 into 120 is equal to 720. 720, so this B will be the answer. So be careful when you are solving a question of adiabatic. First, you find out that the process is adiabatic reversible or irreversible. And then according to that, you have to move.